Hear me, hear me. Enough of this nonsense. They have provoked us. They have provoked their friends. They have provoked people. A kind of to do and undo the things that they don't want to do. Are you hearing me? The things that they don't want to do. They have moved them, provoked them to start doing it. Even they are ready. I said, the way I'm seeing those guys, they even they will even do more than what Nigeria is capable of doing. Because when Sunday, you know, there is something I want you to understand. There is a difference between you doing offending somebody and the person coming out for retaliation. You know, it's not going to be the same mm -hmm. because of the same unity, unity. Then the Biafrans believe on that unity, one Nigeria. But you people did not believe you are marginalizing them. Now we are ready to go, mm. and we want to, and we must go. Mm. Nothing anybody can do to stop this because it is no longer children things. Mm. It is now things of men mm. and of the gods. I remains my humble self, Evangelist Benjamin Johnson, is a snatchy, the only evangelist of Biafra that speak nothing but the truth and ready for the truth and go by the truth. Now listen and listen very carefully. I love, if a man should have more than the, that, mm. he should do. Because the Eastern region has suffered so much mess, oppression by the Nigerian military, mm. in fact by the Nigerian government. I learned and I discovered that a particular village, mm. even in Delta, mm. has been completely ransacked. Just the same way they did in some villages in Imo State. Some buildings, people, houses, everything got burned, destroyed by the Nigerian military. Now, listen and listen good. Enough is enough. We have tolerated nonsense from Nigerian military in Biafra land. How many times have they sent the military to Bono, to Plateau, to Sokoto, to Kaduna to go and raise a whole village and bring down, burn down village, burn down houses. How many times? Is it today, the, what is Zamfara? Is it today they are killing a, 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 a military men in the north? But the military have not done that because of the hatred they have in the eastern region. That's why they have been practicing this nonsense. Enough is enough. I am happy for the new development. I am happy for this, if this is true. In fact, I want Simon Akpan to do to have another one that is more dangerous than uh, 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 that fighter jet, because the military knows all this uh, um, repression. I was uh, they, they were called Nigerian army should go and meet them where they are. Are you getting it? Go and meet them where they are and face them. But at the end of the day, the innocent citizens like me and you. Who do not have a hand in anything? They are the ones that will come and be threatening you to the extent of visiting house to house, taking boys, kidnapping boys. And at the end of the day, how many are coming back? Key innocent souls. Then you expect somebody like Akman who have who, who I believe that God has strengthened him not to defend. He will come up, of which that is why, because I overheard uh, 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 one general in army, uh, Wachuku, the spokesperson in army, saying that uh, uh, the eastern region youth, uh, I probably are discouraging them from joining. The way they are treating the eastern people, anything that pertains to the east mm. in this country, is not encourageable and it's not advisable. And uh, as it is now, as it is now, anything Nigerian uniform, it's like a wearing a, 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 a garment of death. Because so far you wear it from down, you are a part of that eastern region. Except if you are not known. If you once you are known, you enter that region. Ah, your life is at stake. Your life is at risk. So nobody will like to risk his or her life again in addition to the affliction of Nigerian army to the youth of the Eastern youth again. So that is why he say there's somebody who did what, who say he saw, he saw the private, uh, the jet fire moving. Good and fine. If you have more, anything more, they should move. Go to, not just to Imo State. Prepare very well.
but do you not think but do you not think this will complicate um, issues for you know the south eh? standards excuse me there is no issue complication there than the one that is already in existence issues has been complicated everything has been complicated mm. so nothing you can't tell me there is no issue the issue is already there an issue has been there and who causes this issue a nigerian army with the nigerian government operation python dance trigger so many things that have been buried for many years mm. he wake up so many dead spirits Today they are in action, possessing humanity, possessing human beings in different form in order to retaliate mm. of what they suffer that lead them to death. Are you hearing me? Mm. So that is why I am telling you that fighter jet or whatsoever, if I may should, what happened there is a letter to Nigerian army. A very big word, letter to them. Because the way I'm seeing it, the way I'm fish I'm vigoring things. If Nigerian army, the remaining one, eh, should dare. You know, the years of marginalizing and threatening the instalments with a gun. Enough. Enough. You cannot beat a child, expect that child not to cry. Enough. The child will do everything. The way they treat us, they are maltreating the Easterners, have given each and every one of them the mind to do anything in order to defend themselves. In order to make sure that this military personnel from Nigeria with the gun threaten us should stop. This threatening should stop. Enough of that nonsense. Mm. Enough of that nonsense, I repeat. Enough of that nonsense. It has become too obvious mm. that uh, once you are from the east, you uh, the, uh, the nursing army will come and start threatening people. For what? How many times have they threatened people in Bonu State? Mm. See Toji or whatsoever. Look at the Toji giving all that, deciding what happened in the north, dictating for everybody. Where are you, Buba? Where are you, Ike, Ike, uh, Mwachuku? Where are you, uh, uh, Musa? You people should oh, yeah, deploy against Toji. Toji or whatever is Deploy your men against but him. I'm sure they're coming for Toji Bilo. His Oga was recently killed. Oh. You know, his Oga that is Toji Bilo. Boss. Toji Bilo. Yes, and Oga. The, and the chief what defense. What happened to Toji himself? No, no, they said they're coming for him. The chief defense. Yeah. Um, okay, they are coming. The chief, the, the chief defense staff said, um, you know, um, Toji Bilo is scared now because he knows that they are coming for him. Story. It's a statement. Lies. Lies. I could remember the former. Mm. Uh, terrorist uh, king yeah. uh, 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 some years back uh, 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 every day Nigerian armies have killed Shakao on news, on paper and I know after killing Shakao today, Shakao will resurrect tomorrow and do another video they will see they kill him Shakao will resurrect next day and, and show you video and show you even with the video of the people that he he, he, say he newly murdered king Every day, lies, Nigerian military, bunch of lies, bunch of lies. They can lie. I don't know the difference between Satan and the Nigerian and Nigerian government and Nigerian system and Nigerian uh, military. I don't know who lies past because the Bible says that Satan is the father of all life. I don't know who is father now. Satan and Nigeria who lie? Who is now the father? You know, father is a master, but it's like Nigeria has taken over from Satan, from lying. Mm. Is it today? They will tell you Tunji is not scared. If Tunji is scared, Tunji wouldn't have been watching strong, deciding who to go to farm and who not to go to farm, who to live and who not to live. Decide. Could you believe that recently that Tunji uh, declared in Zamfara that every man, every adult married person, do you know how much? 30,000. So they are contributing, they are doing contribution mm. for 2G cow. For 2G cow, for his uh, cow that the army killed. So he give a whole village condition. Are you getting it? Each person, he say adult that is not married should pay uh, 12,000, be 20,000. Then married the 30,000. So, so he share the money group by group, you know, stage. A criminal, a criminal.
and you say he's, uh, he, he's scared. He's scared of who? Scared of what? He's not scared of anything. If he's scared, he will not be sharing money. I want to pay for a cow that they kill. I'm a kill. I'm a kill. Then the whole villagers in the Zamfara has to pay for it. And I'm see a bag uh, cut off that Nigerian army to take themselves with it. So, but, but in the long run, um, if the army really come back and, um, you know, um, the BLA or the BDF, you know, um, um, go one on one, toe to toe with them, do you not think this might escalate? Things have been escalating. And Uzo Dima, do you not think that time he tried to um, clamp clamp down on these um, um, evil perpetrators? In, uh, yeah, in Uzo Dima has been a, one a wicked, so satanic incarnate. Listen and listen good. He has been a satanic incarnate, a cabinet of the darkness that the Nigerians are using against emo state people. Mm. Are you getting it? Against emo state people. And that thing this time around, I don't think there's anything that we escalate more than what is already on the ground. Mm. Are you hearing me? Mm. I don't think there's anything I repeat that will come up that, that have not come up before, that have not happened in Ebola. We have experienced since 1967. There's mm. nothing that will happen again that is new. So, but this time around, is fight to finish. Fight to finish. Fight to finish. We need our freedom. Everybody, answer your papa name. Mm. Answer your fucking father name. Answer your fucking mother. Learn the name. Enough is enough. No more nonsense. We can't continue to relate nonsense. Say the band name the Tano. Amen. Hear me. Hear me. Enough of this nonsense. They have provoked us. They have provoked their friends. They have provoked people. A kind of to do and undo the things that they don't want to do. Are you hearing me? The things that they don't want to do. They have moved them, provoked them to start doing it. Even they are ready. As well. The way I'm seeing those guys, they, even, they will even do more than what Nigeria is capable of doing. Because when son, you know, there is something I want you to understand. There is a difference between you doing offending somebody and the person coming out for retaliation, you know it's not going to be the same. Mm. Person who come out to retaliate, mm. eh, mm. we harm you, mm. we hurt you, mm. we destabilize you, mm. we demolize you, mm. and we condemn you, and we completely bury you. Mm. Are you hearing me? And that is just the spirit now. Let's settle this thing once and for all. Enough is enough. Sort it out so that Nigeria should know their stand. And they will the Pierre France will know their stand. It is an error. Or you both deceive them in the, uh, uh, with their indirect system of government, bringing a whole master like Biafra people, like Biafra. Imagine them with the people of low class and inequality personalities. That was why during that time they, they, they wrote a constitution, a, a, a forbidding, I call it a forbidding constitution, unauthorized and unqualified, unmerited constitution. They did not, they did, are you hearing the voice of the background? Men are not happy, people are no longer happy, they are not ready to be together amen. again. Then the verse, then the verse. Have you not seen, you know they hear, mm. then the verse, that the people are the background. Mm. Now listen and listen good, as I was saying. Mm. Nigeria has gotten to the point whereby mm. enough of this mm. nonsense should stop. Mm. You will see a master by the indirect rule system. You carry a master and you make a master a lower mm. to almost share. Mm. You see why they carry the, 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 the constitution, mm. the document, and instead of them to present it to, to Biafrans as the master, they present it to the inferiors, mm. those inferiors mm. that are the Fulanis who claim to be born to rule. You born to rule in another man's land? Mm. You born to rule your master? You born to rule your, se your senior brother? And why are, are you born to rule? Do you know what you are saying? And in Nigeria, in the, 18th, in the centuries before the colonial masters, we have never been together. Neither have we ever run any packaging together. 
Are you getting it? Then you are bringing us together. Say we are one Nigeria. And okay, after this thing, we have agreed. The dear friends agreed. Okay, we believe in one Nigeria. Let's work as one. Let's move as one. Even that one Nigeria was moved was a step of a Biafran man. The, the first unitary government in Nigeria, in person of late Agui Yuronsi, that was murdered in a battle because of the same unity, unitary. Then the Biafrans believe on that unity, one Nigeria. But you people did not believe you are marginalizing them. Now we are ready to go. Mm. And we want to, and we must go. Mm. Nothing anybody can do to stop this. Because it is no longer children things. Mm. It is not things of men mm. and of the gods. And I'm on inspection to be sure that your shops are all open. Every Monday, every shop must be open. open. It, on Mondays, everyone in uh, the main market must be open. I came to see how it is going. We are bringing security to make sure that everybody has adequate security. In a Mechi every Monday, the person is in Zoafia on Monday, Jebebe, Jebebe, also. What the log in? I did not know what's going on in there, this is unacceptable. We'll be, I'll be here again every Monday. We'll be back here. Any time, any shop that is not open will be sealed and will never be open again for that week. Even at the point, if you are not open, we'll seal you for one month. You won't open. Was it is ready to open? Uh, was it ready to open? You open from Monday. Monday through to Saturday all the shops you want to trade around here all the shops must be open monday to saturday so if you have a shop and you can't open it on mondays then keep it locked for the rest of the week are you with me yes. and we're going to enforce this if it's a plaza you lock it up on monday then you will not be able to open it for the week are you getting me Now, uh, cause, causing commotion, rather. Um, do you think that is right or is safe for the people of Anambra to come out on that Monday? Do you think uh, it is right? No, for... Soludo is very wrong. It is it, wrong in the sense that Soludo should have allowed his wife, his daughters, his immediate family members that are trading at our nature, that are trading at Inkwondewe, Oka, and other places or commercial cities in Anambra State. To come out first and open their chops, mm. ranging from his wife. Mm. Okay, Soludo yeah. is getting it wrong, yeah. trying to jeopardize the lives yeah. of India Nambara. Sit at home observation is being at least uh, uh, active across southeastern Nigeria every Monday, Tuesday, even if you ask me Wednesday. A government that actually tried what Soludo has come lately to do is Peter Mba of Enugu State. Mm. Peter Mba of Enugu State thinks that it's only when you have big head, they, 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 they are going to call you headmaster when your head is big. And it's only when you have a baby, that is when you are full of muscle, a muscular man. The people will say, hey, look at this man, he has arrived. Odogu. Odogu is not by baby or by muscle. But if you want to showcase yourself in Anambra State during all these sit at home observation days, you should start from your immediate family, your wife, your daughters, your nephews, and so forth and so forth. They should come and open their business first. If they could excel opening their business within two hours, three hours, four hours, then other people should come out. And you, as a governor, should be a vigilator, an inspector. You should be in the commercial. Uh, 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 those plaza uh, venue started talking and addressing them that there is security and peace. That is when people could actually, uh, you know, understand you what you are doing. Okay. I don't know what to understand. Uh, so what we are going is that there are governors that actually tried that in the past and they failed woefully. Mm. Oh, the man, when they started this sit at home order, we know actually what transpired when one Mohammed Gulag. 
left northern state of Nigeria, traveled down to southeast to meet Hope the man. Why didn't Hope tell that man that so so thing is being observed in Imo states across Imo land? Everybody know actually what went on. How that man just you know was demised by unknown persons. If a community of people, if a whole state, a whole race are setting aside one day for an observation of a particular event just to say no to government, to say no to government policies. I think it should be kept, it should be maintained, it should be respected. The reason why Igbos are sitting at home Monday, Tuesday is because of what happened to Mazin Nandekano, a man that has virtually won all the crimes, cases, how many counts leveled against him is still today dying in incarceration. He was put in jail by federal actors, key actors of the this current administration, and then the can is still their languishing. And the only way the Igbo youths, the Igbo supporters, the Biafrans, the Igbo race are saying no to how the policy of federal government of Fulani is by staying at home as a boycott every Monday and Tuesday. And now most of these southeastern governors are trying to fault it. You Soludo that is giving them order to come out that day and transact. Why not you yourself coming out, telling your wife to go to the plaza and open her shop? You have kinsmen, you have immediate family members who are trading as well. Now you are calling these people out to come. Why not go there and inspect, go to the venue where these plazas, you know, are situated. Go there and address them. Keep your security, what? Personnel on alert. I don't know what I understand. That is where you could effectively implement it. Not giving order and you get, you, you go inside your house. Your wife inside the house. Well protected and fortified by federal forces. And we are trying to subject the entire Igbo traders to this kind of perility. If you ask me, anybody that goes out that day is on his own. Our life is something so special, so sacred sans, and sacred. You shouldn't toy with life because life is one. Very expensive and should be respected. If you ask me if I'm in Igbo land, I wouldn't have, I don't even support anybody, my family members going to market that day. I'm speaking from the perspective of my own opinion. Yeah. I don't go out that day. I won't go. My brothers, my sisters shouldn't go. Let Charles Soludo first of all allow his wife to go and open her shop that day. But, but do you think someone that... that matters most to him, I mean his immediate family members to fault, sit at home, order. But do you think if you provide if you provide security, do you think people should come out if you provide uh, uh, adequate security? Thank you so much. Now you are talking. It should provide adequate security. That's a very good question. I love that. It should provide adequate security for Igbo traders across Anambra State. It is a welcome idea. So that nobody will take, you know, sit at home as escorts to disrupt public peace that day. Yes, that's a good suggestion. I love that. What Sa Soludo should do right now is to secure the entire land of Anambra State that day. Everywhere, on the markets, everywhere in Anambra State, Aguleri Axis, Okuzu Axis, Achala, Oka, everywhere should be absolutely secured, at least by the governor. That is when we know that there will be what? Peace and harmony comes next week, Monday and Tuesday. It's not by just issuing an order, you know. Uh, 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 prevailing on the traders to come out that day without giving them adequate security. It's very dangerous to falter or to violate sit at home order or observation in Anambra State. If you ask me, very dangerous. But, but do you not think Epa will counter this? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Epa, I see, is a, a man in Finland that is trying to at least uh, agitate for self determination. Uh, to make sure that uh, Biafra emancipation is a uh, is a uh, is uh, is a sure is a sure thing. Uh, he's been doing it over and over again. He was doing it many years back, and we are here today, 2024. Epa is still being very 
very resilient, persistently issuing sit-at-home order. I think uh, is doing it to make sure that Nandekano is free, to make sure that referendum is given to Biafran people for peace to reign in Nigeria nation. I don't see what EPA is doing as a crime. American Congress, they are the lawmakers we have in the USA, they are discussing it since last week, why Nandekano is supposed to be out. Why someone EPA should be allowed doing what he knows how to do best. They don't, they don't violate anybody. They don't. They did not commit any treasonable felony. They have not committed crime. And I see what the U.S. Congress are saying as writing. Nobody has destroyed anything. Nobody has actually violated anybody sitting at home. I think it's a way of protesting against government hard policy. Nobody has violated anything. And the, I'm seeing Nigerian state as a place where due process and the lawful you know policies policies that are very very friendly to the people are not being carried out but always hard policies stringent government policies is going on in nigerian state